to start off. The computer did not charge that battery very well. But I'm not going to be recording too terribly much today, unlike the previous days, so, I mean, I won't, but anyways, the battery's good. I just, I left it plugged into the computer thinking it would help, but I probably should have plugged it into a wall. <laughs> Um, considering it was at one blip early yesterday and now it's not. Yeah. Aaron's going through a, <laughs> he's going through a, a survey about how he travels around the Netherlands. What's really weird is I don't get it. I didn't get a thing. Not everyone does. Oh, this is literally just random yeah. citizen survey. Okay. Probably like from, um, yeah statistical standpoint, but people who may own cards, like they got the data from people who have personalized chip cards? Uh, they probably got the data from people who have registered as living in the Netherlands. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that in the States. We don't do that in the States. So, like all of the Turks in the Eindhoven office got in trouble because they hadn't deregistered as living in Turkey when they registered as living here. But we don't have that problem because we don't register as living somewhere in the States. Yeah. Because, like, we don't have, like, registering to live here, that the Jemento will deal with post and L, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, the... The, the closest we have to registering that we live somewhere different is changing is our change of address form from the U.S. Post Service. And then going through on literally every other website, but that's different. That's not governmental, but like changing your shipping address on eBay and Amazon and, <laughs> yeah. you know, whatnot. But I'm heading off to practice here. It's nine-ish, nine, you know, it's actually nine. And I will, yeah, see you guys here. I'm probably going to hoof it to Vibatstrat and then just grab a 51 down to the right rather than try to take the 19 to here or walk to Mauderport, grab the Sprinter, go to Anstel, grab the 51. Or I could take <laughs> Ostport, tram 19, all the way up to Vesperplein, and go down, grab a 51. I'm like, I could just walk to Vibatstrat. Like, I could probably even, to an extent, ride my bike, but I have to carry pads and a helmet. I'm not quite adept at doing that one. I should probably figure that out this week. Or at least go buy, and gr buy a crot and uh, have swap feeds affix it to the bike. Yeah. Because in theory, if they put it on, they can take it off. Right. That was their cruel. As long as we can take it off, it's fine. Okay. If you guys put it on, you should be able to take it off. Okay. What is going on? So, it's Sunday. I already vlogged. Leading in the door, twisted and weird. So yeah, I did linebacker drills, talked with Sofian. Did some linebacker drills, talked with Sofian. We have a lot of rookies here today. I'm not gonna film a lot of them because I don't know if the rookies like to be on camera, but we have others. We have diamond drills and stuff going on. I'll try not to get the rookies going. I did do a little bit of contact, but we're doing the really hard contact stuff right now, and even Marcus advised that I stay away from that a little bit. The receivers and the DBs are doing rap and twist. Maurice is with the uh, rookies. He's out running them through some, like, Heads up, tap, conditioning drills. It's very weird. Go over there. Got our diamond drill going on. We have uh, Sofian on the bag. Robin and I'll catch his name later. We all need to know. I'll tell you, you're more practicing the blocking, which is fine. Ready. Don't get a turn around. It's the diamond drill. Yeah. Our linemen are doing that right now. You get this from the front side. Ready. <laughs> Robin's offense, so he's not very. <laughs> Yep. 
have a lot of receivers and DBs here today, though. All right, folks did team a little bit harder than I was expecting, so I waited it off. Got a got my thing here in a couple weeks, so I don't need to worry too much. <laughs> Sophion has the best helmet hair. <laughs> Damn. Wait, I gotta go fix the hold up, hold up, wait a minute. This is the reason why it looks like this. Oh. Because I've been wearing this. Because he's a samurai. It's gonna kill people. That was definitively a football player kick. That was not a martial arts kick. Yes, it was. I think it's not, but I'm trying to look like OBJ here, you know. I'm just kidding. My friend uh, Willie looked like OBJ with the blonde mohawk and number 13. What the hell? He had a blonde mohawk? Yeah. Uh, you're never going to see a blonde mohawk on me, though. Why? Because I don't look, look, look good with blonde hair. Neither do I. <laughs> ah! Don't fall on me. The ladder's trying to leave me behind. Carrying a ladder, and it's not behaving very well. Oh. Hey, ladder. It's tiny little rungs, so they're not staying underneath my armpit very well. Our cleats already destroyed the ground enough. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I was like, no Dexel? No Dexel. No Dexel. <laughs> Grease? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Went great. <clears throat> okay, I'm home. It's evening. We're going to try to head down to the porterhouse. Um, Aaron's stretching his back. It's a fairly neutral position. Yeah, this doesn't hurt. Yeah, which is good. Um, his back doing better is a good thing. Uh, and I was out of the house, so I wasn't here to watch him and take care of him in a physiotherapy way, not like baby him. <laughs> That's yeah. So tomorrow I'm going to try to do a little bit more to help him. Um and stuff but he was left to his own devices and assumed and he, he pulled at me I'm good to go ow 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 <laughs> yeah yeah I, I did some stretching and some some of the stuff that I was supposed to do for physiotherapy last time and it it felt like maybe it helped and then I tried to get up yeah. You may have done it a little wrong. Uh, whatever. So, I'm going to go down to Albert Hine. I was watching some YouTube videos. I mean, I got back at like, what, four? Five? Yeah. A lot of chatting afterwards. And so, swung by Aaron ate his chicken sandwich because he hadn't, we have no food. There's cereal because it didn't go bad. <laughs> There's no milk to eat the cereal with. So... I, for some reason, thought I'd be back earlier. Not a big deal. Um, it's still daylight. Yeah. Um, so when we were going into full team drill things, and I wasn't going to go into full contact, I did do more like wrap-up stuff against things. So I, I'm, I'm trying to break past the mental Good. of hitting stuff, but I'm not like trying to absolutely wreck somebody. <laughs> I mean, I will eventually, but... Not at least until, you know, October, but yeah. Anyways, so I took off my pads and Randy, he goes, you know what? I really wish, because I, I commented on uh, Mess, because he actually did a jam on one of our receivers and like knocked him off balance. And like when everyone was like, I go, Mess! <laughs> and I turned over to Randy and I was like, now, if only he had about 20 more kilos, he'd be really good. He's like, he could have some of mine. He says, he can't have any of yours. You've been hitting the gym. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, just out of nowhere. You, like, it's obvious in, in my football pants and this thing. 
that I'd been hitting the gym. <laughs> we need linemen because our old linemen are getting healthy. That it would be an American problem, and it kind of was. There were some guys that stopped being O line because they started moving more. You notice most of our O linemen were not like Oscaris. They were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like to come here and find out that Oscari was a uh, O lineman. I was like, well, good on you. Well, I was a tight end. I was a slot receiver for a while. And a running back. I'm like, you've played everything. Not quarterback. I can't throw. <laughs> I was like, so most of the rest of us can't either. We leave that to Maurice. So I'm going to head down to Albert Hine. I'm wrapping up today. <coughs> I take, I have authorized Aaron to take some more pain pills than usual. Because I know out of all my pain and stuff that <coughs> it ain't going to kill him. So... He's had a little bit more pain than usual, and hopefully he can get down to Porterhouse and have more food than a chicken, crispy chicken sandwich from... Was that like a spicy crispy chicken? I literally clicked crispy chicken sandwich on the digital menu. Okay. I didn't add anything to it. I added bacon to mine because I was like, do I want bacon or cheese? Bacon or cheese? I can't get both because of this digital menu. I don't really want to talk to those ladies. They look disinterested in their job. Let's have bacon. <laughs> so yeah. Um, tomorrow might be a day that I wake up in the morning, finish this video, and then figure out what the hell is on all that footage <laughs> from vacation. So yeah. <laughs> even, even Cherry asked me, he goes, so how much footage did you get for your vacation? I was like, well, I got... 150 clips. He's like, really? That's it? I was like, well, I get 150 clips for a football game. He goes, you only recorded a football game? I was like, no. A football game is 7 gigs. <laughs> my footage from the my footage from thing is 42 gigs. He's like, oh my god. And Sufjan's like, oh. <laughs> like he just... <laughs> I got 5 football games worth of footage. 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Yeah, I got 6 football games worth of footage from vacation. A lot of it is probably just massive cut footage or the sun blinded it out so I have to like cut it off or whatnot. But I was to the point where I was like, you know, I'm over recording first things. <laughs> so yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. We'll see, like I said, I will see how video goes when I'm putting things together. The NFL game at the Porterhouse starts at seven. So I'm gonna head out to Albert Hunt, do that stuff, let Aaron's uh, pain pill kick in, and yeah. All right, I'm just, I'm just mumbling now. I'm kind of like post-practice exhausted in that stoopy face. That's why I was just sort of sitting in my chair watching YouTube.